Hi everybody and welcome to the Art of Procurement Podcast. I'm Philip Heidson. And I'm Kelly Barner. And all through November, we're celebrating five years of the Art of Procurement Podcast. And to celebrate, we're answering some of the most frequently asked questions that we have received from listeners since the podcast began with a daily five-minute show. Today's question that we received is, what would be the top five priorities of a CPO post the coronavirus crisis? Well, we actually did some research as part of our recent Mastermind Live event that we held at the beginning of October. We asked um, all registrants to answer a few questions related to their um, objectives, the priorities and challenges as they are heading into 2021. And almost 600 respondents actually shared with us their number one objective. Now, before I share what that information is, I do want to first uh, sit on the fence a little bit. You know, the priority of a CPO really should be directly tied to the key priorities of the business. So where we often get in trouble as a procurement function is where the procurement priority isn't really aligned with the needs of the business. Um, Now, We can, of course, actually attempt to influence business needs if we see that there are different things that the business can be doing. You know, that that comes to our role as a catalyst. So I don't want to suggest that we always are just standing in line and doing what the business are asking us. But we really got to be... to be mindful that um, not to push necessarily our objectives um, on the business if that's not what the business needs. I think that... um, you know, influencing business needs, that's probably the subject of a whole different podcast. So let me share with you the results from our mastermind survey. The first priority is cost savings, as you would expect. 35% of respondents said cost savings as their number one uh, priority entering 2021. Number two was growth enablement, 24% of respondents. That's interesting to me that um, there is such a focus on growth, although I do think that for some organizations they that uh, really still have a cost savings focus, they, um, you know, think of the... What are those cost savings drivers being growth when the savings are being reinvested back in the business rather than dropping directly to the PL? The third priority, which was a surprise to me, was actually sustainability and diversity with 14% of respondents. And then number four was risk and ensuring supply with 13% of respondents. Interesting that risk, in at least in this survey, was actually below sustainability and diversity given where we are and, and the role that we've played in actually ensuring supply over the last few months. And then number five on the list was uh, facilitating supplier-enabled innovation at 8%. Now, the reality is that there's three types of business right now. There's those that are in hyper-growth mode. There are those that are in kind of protect what we've got mode. And those that are adapting to a completely new business condition as a result of the pandemic. So for those in growth mode, uh, growth enablement is certainly everything. And everything that you can do to enable that is the top priority. For everybody else, the most common uh, piece of feedback that I get from the CPOs that I work with right now is that they have to focus on savings now really at the expense of all the other objectives because their company needs to ensure survival before they can really focus too much on the future. But as I said, it's really hard to say these should be the top five priorities of a CPO because I truly, really encourage anyone within procurement, any leader within procurement, anyone who's uh, working from a category perspective to truly understand the needs of their business and build priorities around that. I want to thank you for listening to today's podcast. All the podcasts in this series can be found at artofprocurement.com slash five years. That's the number five. That's artofprocurement.com slash five years.